Hello everyone, I'm Isaac Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install the number one trending mod on lcpdfr.com right now. That is Cross County Callout. So the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. That brings you guys right here to this wonderful mod made by this guy right here. So make sure to leave him the love and support if you guys do enjoy this mod by leaving a positive review and checking out the other mods he's made. So on the video, the first thing you guys want to do is head down here and click download this file. You can view the current callers if you want to. And there are basic requirements right here, such as a mission maker and GitHub. But I'm gonna install this first and then I'll show you guys how to install those later on. So click here and then save. Open up cross county callouts. Let me drag it from my second monitor here. And then you guys should be able to see you go into regular version, you're going to have a scripts folder and then mission maker. So to use this, all you guys are going to want to do is simply go into your GTA 5 main directory, go to your GTA 5 root folder. For those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. But for those of you guys on Epic Games or Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below. But the first thing you guys want to do, go to Steam, is go to whatever drive your Steam is on. Program Files 86, go to Steam. Steam apps and common and choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod. But mine is under a custom directory over here. And then grab your version and simply just drag and drop in your scripts folder. Now, since we do not have scripthookv.net, or you might already have it, and you, you need to skip this. But if you don't, this is, will not work. Your scripts folder will not work without having scripthookv.net installed. So install this, go back and click on the provided download link for scriptofv.net and head down to the bottom here and click on the .zip and that will install as per the name a zip folder and per pretty much every mod and install this all you guys are going to want to do is if you go into the readme it states something that is normally very important or it used to say something very important that you do not need all the files but you can put them all in the game if you do not want to risk not installing the right ones. So it doesn't really make a difference. But to install the right files, what you guys are going to want to need is you're going to need this one right here. You're going to need this one. And then you're going to need this one here. And then this one here. And then from here, you're going to want to put them into your game like so. Or if you really want to, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to select them all and drag and drop them into your game. Then once this is inside the game, all you guys are going to want to do is it will automatically detect your scripts folder. So now scripts will work perfectly fine. Is install the next one that we got provided with, which is over here. So hit the Mission Maker download. It's going to take the GTA 5 mods. Hit download and download again and then save. Open it on up. Go into the Mission Maker folder. And this is very, very simple. Same way you'd install any other plugin. Simply drag and drop this into your game like so. And just like that, you've installed the mod. It's a little bit more complicated than usual, but it's very, very simple still when it comes to installing things. Here you guys can see that you will need a trainer or an add-on spawner for DLC vehicles. They do all kind of have some of their basic requirements, but for open all interiors, I will leave a link on how to download that. And for add-on spawner and simple trainer V, I have got all videos on how to install that separately, but I will leave the download links or the video links to those in the little info card in the top right-hand corner. If I do forget, then make sure you remind me down in the comments section below, as sometimes I can be a little bit forgetful when it comes to adding videos, sometimes links as well. So if I do forget any of those in any of my videos, always be sure to let me know. But I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please just sort of like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support the channel a little bit further. And then you can check out the membership button. Also, there's an upcoming 5PD series. It's I'm still making sure everything's finalized. So kind of my the game works fine, and it's kind of like what I want. But that series is sponsored by Zap Hosting. You can check Zap Hosting out down in the description below and use the code Highway Trooper, no capitals, no spaces, to get 20% off all Zap Hosting products. And you can also lose the link down in the description below if you want to support me as a creator. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.